welcome. I'm Brian Hubbard. And I'm Lynn McTaggart. And we are What Doctors Don't Tell You. And yet again, we have a triple media sensation taking place. We have over here Facebook Live. Hello, Facebook Livers. We have our usual podcast. And we have our vlog. All happening at the same time. Simultaneously. Miracle of modern technology, Brian. Indeed it is. Indeed it is. So we're going to kick off with a story that I suppose, you know, trusted and loyal what doctors don't tell you readers will know about because I think we've been banging on about it for the last 10 years. But for those who are just catching up, it's worth repeating. that The whole business about how uh, fats from our diet clog our arteries, cause uh, arteries to harden, which in turn causes heart disease, is, of course, a complete and utter myth. And this has been established in yet another study which came out a couple of weeks ago, which confirmed that indeed full-fat milk, yogurt, cheese and butter won't do you any harm. But the added uh, discovery of this particular study is not only will they do you no harm, they'll actually do you some good. Because people who do eat a full-fat, high-fat diet have a reduced risk of stroke. So for all these years, where the low-fat food industry and the statin drugs industry, which is uh, designed to lower cholesterol in, in the blood, whilst they've been busy coining it, it's actually increased the real risk of heart disease for two reasons. One, because it's, re it's taken away a defensive mechanism, which is the LDL cholesterol. It's taken that away. But furthermore, it's encouraged people to use these uh, low-fat, fat-free foods, which instead are full of sugars. And it's the sugars which all along are the problem and which actually do trigger heart disease. I mean, I think one of the really interesting stories we did some uh, a few years ago, which really gave us a lot of insight as to why this is all the case, is this whole idea of cholesterol being the firefighter, not, you know, not the fire. And that cholesterol is coming to clogged arteries to try to, or arteries under threat, to kind of hold them together to try to stabilize them. Mm -hmm. And by removing cholesterol, we remove a substance that's so necessary for us. It's so necessary for our brain, um, particularly as we age. It's necessary for everything. And as we've seen, food in cholesterol, like dairy fat, is actually good for you. Mm -hmm. And all of the people now who are advocating paleo diets mm -hmm. recognize this. All of the paleo diets want you to have a lot of saturated fat as well as the mm. other elements mm. in the mm. diet. Yeah, I mean, you're quite right. I think this is the, the real danger. I suppose the third whammy um, is that of the you know, statin prescriptions usually begin around about the age of 55 on average. Certainly after 50, they do start talking in terms of statin being part of your routine um, armament, as it were. But of course, that's the time when you need this so-called bad fat, the LDL, which actually does protect the brain. And, um, you know, it, it, it's a correlation. It's not cause and effect. But isn't it funny that when people start taking, these older people start taking statin drugs, we're seeing dementia, Alzheimer risk increase. And, um, you know, it would seem to be a, a correlation taking place there for that reason. I mean, see, the study, what it did was it looked at uh, about 3,000 volunteers who were 65 years and older, and it tracked them for 22 years. So it was a really solid piece of research. Um, and they found that you know, they tracked their, uh, with, the, with the food they were eating and those, on the, um, those who, particularly on the high-fat diet uh, route, uh, they didn't suffer any higher rates of heart disease, and in fact, they had lower rates of stroke. And in fact, there was a 42% reduced risk of stroke. And, um, and it really does, I mean, it just turns everything on its head. I mean, we have not seen, despite this piece of research, we've not seen any change yet in health advisory. No one has stood up and said, you know what, we got it wrong. We shouldn't be prescribing statin drugs for everybody. I, th I would imagine statin drugs are useful for a very, very small minority of people. They're not this general uh, 
protective agent that they claim it to be. Most people should not be taking it. Most people should be eating a, a full and high fat diet and they should be coming off the processed foods. And that's really the, the message, isn't it? That is really the message. And I mean, one other thing to keep in mind with heart drugs is that doctors don't just prescribe one drug. Mm. You know, I met a friend recently who is on about six different drugs and is developing a lot of other side effects mm. and those side effects are causing are being caused by the drugs at which point the doctors will come in with yet more drugs to try to deal with those side effects so suddenly you're taking this enormous cocktail of nine or ten drugs mm. and what's really frustrating is that of all the diseases heart disease is the easiest one to sort by a lifestyle mm. it requires a number of lifestyle issues including looking at whether or not you're lonely. That's a big cause of heart disease too. But diet, supplements, exercise, community are essentially the best pill you can take. And I think just, just a, a general rider to all this, that um, it is utterly staggering that we've been taking these foods, eating these foods, taking these drugs for 40 years. Multi, multi-billion dollar industries have arisen from this false belief that fats in your diet cause heart disease. And you know, and they sort of said, well, you know, the research is there to prove it. And and you know, we did our own research, and you know what? It never was. It was never there. And uh, I remember there was the American Heart Association spent 10 years with a team of researchers trying to find this link. They couldn't find it and they gave up. And yet we carry on pushing this. And it's, it is, to me, staggering. But you answered the question, Brian. Mm. It's all about the money. Mm. You know, follow, follow the money. Mm. With health, the health industry, it's the same thing as mm. every other industry. Follow mm. the money. Mm. And right now, a giant edifice mm. of money has been built around this discredited theory. It was discredited years ago, and yet no one wants to pull the plug on it because you've got enormous food industry involved. You've got the enormous drug industry involved. Mm. You know, one of the biggest sellers of all time, statin drugs. Mm. And so it's all about mm. industry. It's all about the yeah. money. I mean, and, you know, sugars were fingered back in the 50s as the likely cause of heart disease. That was debunked. Then again, in the 70s, we have Professor Yudkin, who said exactly the same thing. His research institute was shut down. He was, he was even prevented from going back to his own research center. And so powerful were these forces that he was absolutely right, of course, but he died, you know, a broken man um, for saying the right thing. And, you know, it's, it's a dirty old world out there, Facebook livers, so bear that one in mind. That's why magazines like We Exist, because we try to give you the truth that you're not going to get anywhere else, including probably from the medical profession. Okay. Well, look, we're going to say goodbye to Facebook Live. Now we're going to carry on with our podcast. Pick up on the rest of this podcast via our website, which is wddty.com. And thanks for joining us today. And we look forward to speaking with you again soon. Bye. Bye, Facebook.